Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's your favorite baby girl, Wit, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about Argus perfumes. I I know for that one girl that hit me up in my DM, this is long overdue. I'm so sorry, girl. But I have explained how I felt to you, but I knew I wanted to give a full video because I know I haven't brought any of these fragrances onto the channel. I know that I had added some of the fragrances into thumbnails, and people came commenting asking, Oh, do you have it? Can I know your thoughts? And I shared my thoughts to those people that individually asked based off of seeing it on a thumbnail anytime I add fragrances onto a thumbnail and those fragrances don't make it to the video that means I also consider those fragrances to be equally okay to be a part of the video because I only have but so much time I try to give you guys quick fire videos I try to always use a script when I am making my videos as well so that I can stay on point so we're gonna be diving into Argus but I was so happy that was so unique so unique to the point that i have dislikes like it's not so safe that i'm able to properly critique the fragrance and be like yeah no that's just not me i just don't really like it so i'm gonna go over um the fragrances that i have about four bottles please make sure to leave down below some fragrances that you do enjoy from this house <laughs> I'm going to use Adonis Awakens to actually discuss the presentation of the bottle, the juice, so you guys can see how creative and how different. I haven't seen a company do it like this in a long time. I feel like everything is so redundant. Everything is the same. They're afraid to come out of the box. And when it comes to this house, they have no fear in coming out of the box. They have no fear with not being mass appealing. The ingredients they use, the way the fragrance is even blended, it's just so unique. I do want to say that it does give me that Middle Eastern feel, but it's just something else incorporated that just makes it so lovely. So yes, back to Adonis Awakens. I want to get a close up and show you guys the artwork on this particular bottle. Absolutely gorgeous. The, the crystals. They've added crystals where the name is engraved. One thing that I do wish is that my name, Wait Babe, was at the back of this bottle. I love the weight. I'm not gonna love the weight when it's time for me to travel with this bottle, but definitely just having it in my collection. This is something that I can never throw away. Even when it's to get empty, I don't see how this artwork alone, like this plaque alone, cause it is a plaque, I can't see myself throwing it away. Bottle design, 10 out of 10. And I even want to talk about the box. Create a fragrance. I don't see it any other way. I don't see me doing it any other way. I love the fact that it has its own bed. It has its own little cushion here. Looky type of texture. Quite strong to hold the fragrance. And I love the fact that all the details on every box is listed here. So in this fragrance there's vanilla, there's raspberry, there's bergamot, there's pink pepper. I have to just keep emphasizing the quality of this fragrance is next to none. The Automizer alone, immediately when I spray it, I get the grapefruit. I wish I got more of the raspberry in this because then right after that, it just settles into this like amazing wood. Guys, I'm going to share everything, okay? I want to even talk about the fact that I miss Adonis Awakens with Palace. Athens, I believe. I wore that to church. Um, so we had a night that we were working with the youth. The amount of compliments I got on this two, and you know what? I have to be so honest and fair. Before I added these two together, I already had a base layer was Crystal Love for her from Atar. I have never felt so beautiful with a fragrance, honestly, until I created this three layer. And I'm sharing it with y'all because I mess with y'all. The amount of compliments with my skin composition, with my skin, with how it just works on my body was stellar. Back to this. When I'm talking about the longevity of this fragrance, I don't want it to just be how long it's lasting on my skin. I want to go in depth with how much it was projecting. People that walked in after me were still asking, what's that smell? It's one that the brand did an amazing, amazing, amazing job on. Some people compare it to be like a oud satin mood from Mason versus Kirk Dijon. On my body chemistry, for me, it does not smell even a little bit like it. I get a lot more of the fruits and the berries and that whole woody concoction. While with oud satin mood, I just get a smooth oud rose finish, my personal opinion. One thing that I can say is that if a man had to wear a suit, it's like the perfect scent. 
I feel like it leans unisex on my skin, but it can easily be so beautiful for a man if I'm just being completely honest. Now we're gonna move on to Palace Athen. This one is where I find myself completely in awe. Right now I'm at this stage that I'm just really loving soft fragrances. I'm appreciating roses. I'm not a rose girl. I'm not a flower girl. I'm not a gardenia girl. I am a tuberose girl, but I'm finding an appreciation for roses that are still done in either a really bright citrusy manner or really sweet gourmand manner. And with Palace Athen, it is so fruity. It is so rose. There's red berries. There's peony. It just brings this level of femininity and comfort. I find this might be TMI, but I find like when I'm on my cycle, these are the fragrances that I like to have on. Gentle Fluidity, um, Palace Athen. I'm really big with like Lolita Sweet, Greenwich Village. It's just, these are the fragrances that just bring this sense of calmness to me and that is what this fragrance does for me. I feel like definitely when you're out in nature and you sweat a bit or the sun is hitting you, it's definitely going to be a beautiful glaze. I don't want to make this sound like this is such a bold, exciting scent. It's pretty linear. It's the red berries and the soft florals. But for somebody like me that doesn't have a lot of that in my collection, it brings a nice level of balance. So for me, I don't want y'all to feel like I'm overhyping it or anything like that. It is a beautiful scent. The only place in my collection I can say I have these type of very pretty feminine fragrances would be in the House of Parfums de Marly. So with this one, it's just an added bonus. It's soft and simple and it's a no-brainer. It's something that makes me feel really pretty and bright and beautiful. So that's how it makes me feel. Somebody else can smell it and be like, and eh, this shit is I. It's an easy reach for me for how soft it is. I wear this one also. I mix it with the first one. Even wearing it alone, I feel like it lasts a long time. It alone doesn't project like crazy, but it is really beautiful. Triumph of Bacchus is the one that had everyone talking last year and I feel like that's why I held off on saying my thoughts on it. This is the fragrance that I would say is great for special occasions. It's great when you want to stand out in a crowd. It's great when you want to make a statement. Specific fragrance is the one that I would consider to be that boss fragrance, that elegant. Um, if I had to smell it and just think, is it expensive or not? This is definitely it. Some of the no sentence fragrance is rum, green apple, there's peach in here, there's vanilla. This fragrance has some of my favorite notes listed. It is so thick and syrupy. This is one that definitely concert wear, a big dinner. Definitely a boozy sweet tree. It's definitely something that I grab a lot for during the fall and winter months. Screams, it's cold to me, like by the fire, s'mores. It just gives me that vibe. Do I feel like it was worth the hype? I do think it was worth the hype. I do feel like it's enjoyable. I feel like it brings something new in the gourmand aspect in my collection. The next one is Dani. So unique. It opens up like it wants to be citrusy. It opens up with like bergamot and lemon. And then immediately, I don't think I get any... It just gets spicy and then woody really quickly. My friend will absolutely love this one. I feel like this is one... Over time, that woodiness just becomes more and more creamy. Don't know how, but that's how it's been on my skin. Over time, it just becomes more and more sweet and creamy. There's patchouli, sandalwood, and musk. So I think the roundness from everything in the base note is what makes it so creamy and so woody. This is another one with impeccable longevity. The next one we have is Dele Cache. I'm going to refresh myself. Sage, green mate absolute, pink pepper, iris concrete, tonka bean, leather. This is so masculine. For me, it's something that I can get with. It's too masculine. My boyfriend even said that it was too much for him. You have to be a full-fledged leather person. I don't know what it is. Leather is just one of those notes that I'm not there with. My nose is not 
it's just it's just never been if the leather is in it and I can't detect it at all then I'm happy but once I can detect the leather on my skin it's just it can just quickly pass for BO after a couple of hours but if I had to rate this one for a guy that will really probably like leather he's gonna just give this a 10 out of 10 for me rating it the next one we have is Bacho Importale. Bacho Importale. Immortal Piss, basically. I like this one. Okay? I really like this one. It has bergamot, it has lemon, it has pepper, it has raspberry. One thing that I learned about the Argos house, just looking at the notes, they really love pepper, they love raspberry, they love vanilla and oud, and they love leather. Leather is in this fragrance as well. The reason why I can tolerate this leather more than the last one is because of the musky raspberry roundup. It smells a little similar to the last one. So once again, any guy that knows off the bat or gyal, whichever one, if you know off the bat that leather is your thing, you're into deep, deep, rich scents, there's no way you're not gonna like this. This is magnificent. And it's like deep seductive nature this fragrance has a very very deep seductive nature I feel like the leather plays a huge role I feel like the oud in here is starting to push through leather oud a bit of raspberry got that bit of spiciness once again if I had to rate this one seven out of ten but if you like the leather you like the oud you like what I described you're definitely gonna give this a ten out of ten but for me, my style, my get up, which you guys should know, my style, my get up is this really, really sweet fragrances, is the gourmand. And it's so crazy because in a way the leather is kind of giving like a strong, like chocolatey quality. But not chocolatey, like decadent chocolate. It's like just a thick, strong chocolate. But I'm pretty sure it's the like rose, the violet and jasmine that's like kind of mixing with the leather. But yeah, that is how I rate this one. The last one is the Pour Femme. I wish I had the Pour Homme also just to give you guys that opinion. But the last one is the Pour Femme. And it's Violet, Bergamot, Ginger, Lemon, Orange Blossom. I absolutely love Orange Blossom. Iris Cloves, Pink Pepper, Rose, Sandalwood, Amber, White Musk, Vanilla Bean, Ylang Ylang. This one I can tell you is not as exciting as the other ones that I've spoken about. This one is the least interesting in regards to how it captivates my nose. It's beautiful and safe. I don't really see any woman not enjoying this. It's not much to it. And I feel like if you're looking for something that can be a signature scent, not much to it, not the mainstream Zelina or, you know, YSL Black Opium or even Valentina Donna Born in Roma, you're looking for something a bit more but still basic, I think this is perfect. It's very musky, it's very powdery, it's very soft. In a way, a little dry and chalky. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please make sure you do all the fun things for me. You guys already know, I know they beg again. I'm not begging you guys for anything again. You guys know how to help a sister out. You guys know, I don't ask for much, so anybody that knows, knows. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and until my next video, Bye, guys.